All right, well, we're going to start practicing taking notes uh, at home for our homework and try to flip our class. So today in class, we're going to practice doing that by watching the video. And the first thing I want you to do in order to do this correctly, you need to know the definitions of these six terms. So uh, stop the video, go to the Internet, and look up the definitions. Try to put the definitions in your own words because that is the best way to, to make sure you understand what the words mean and also it would be a good idea to, to provide an example of those. So stop the video now and do that. Alright, what we want to be able to do by the end of the video today is to label the parts of the right triangle. Now remember it's always uh, labeled according to an acute angle. Uh, so you have to be told the acute angle. And in this case our acute angle is going to be angle A. To me, it helps if I identify angle A in the picture, so I'm going to label it with a curve mark like we've always done. I want to label the hypotenuse. If you did your definition of your hypotenuse, it should be the longest side in the triangle. It should be the side that's across the triangle from the right angle. So this is your hypotenuse. I'm going to label it with an H. We want to label the side opposite angle A. So if I look at angle A and I go across the triangle, it would point to the opposite side, so I'm going to label that with an O. And so the adjacent side would be the side that's a touching or B side adjacent to angle A. So that would be the adjacent side, and I'm going to label that with an A. So H for hypotenuse, O for opposite, and A for adjacent. Now on this one, they want us to label the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So this would be my hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle here. So I'm going to put an H there. We want to locate the side opposite angle B. Now if we look at angle B, notice that angle B is your right angle. So the side opposite is also your hypotenuse. And since we have the opposite side and the hypotenuse are both the same side of that triangle, we know we're not going to be able to use the trig functions here. You can only use the acute angles, so that would have to be either A or C, because notice your adjacent sides to angle B would have to be both legs. This would be adjacent, and this would be your adjacent also, because they're both touching. And so we would not want to use the trig functions based on a right angle. All right, the next slide wants us to label the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Again, here's my right angle at A. So my hypotenuse must be across from that. Uh, the side opposite angle B, here's angle B. So if we go across the triangle, opposite, that would be side AC. So that would be opposite. Label it with an A or O. And the side adjacent to angle B, that's going to be the side B side or touching angle B, would be this side. I'm going to label it with A for adjacent. Same thing here, label the hypotenuse of the right triangle, so I always locate my right angle. I know it's the opposite side for my right angle. It's the longest side, so that's going to be my hypotenuse. I want that side opposite angle B or C, so here's angle C. So the opposite side's got to be across, so that would be my opposite side. And that leaves the other side my adjacent side, so that would be my adjacent. Um, again, same thing, label the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So where do you think the hypotenuse goes? Put an H there. I located my right triangle, my right angle. My hypotenuse is across from that. The side opposite angle C, so here's angle C. Across would be opposite. And adjacent to C would be the other side right beside C. So that would be my adjacent. Again, we want to do the same thing with this one. So label the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Here's my right angle, so the hypotenuse would have to be here. The side opposite B, here's angle B, so across would be opposite. And then finally adjacent would be here. And I think we've... So that should finish this worksheet. And you should be able to do it. 